Jack Moylan and the Sean Boyd Brace saw Shelburne seal their place in this season's FAI Cup semi-finals against the sluggish Bohemian side today. Boyd was active and a nuisance from the off, trying his luck from close range as Shane Farrell frequently fizzed dangerous deliveries into the box. After 10 minutes, set-piece specialist Tariq Wilson called a low free-kick effort narrowly wide, one of few chances for the visitors. Two minutes later, Gavin Malloy fed Boyd, flicking his effort over the crossbar. He lacked composure, but Moylan certainly didn't to break the bread deadlock. He left Wilson in his rear-view mirror before playing a 1-2 with Matty Smith. Through on goal with onrushing goalkeeper John McCracken to beat, he picked his spot and blazed into the roof of the net. He later twisted his ankle, couldn't continue, and was replaced by Brian McManus shortly after the 30-minute mark. Brian combined with Boyd to almost score moments following his introduction, but for McCracken's great anticipation of his line to snuff out the danger. The keeper made an acrobatic stop over the crossbar to deny McManus's half volley from distance. But moments after that save, Boyd benefited from weak boys defending to double the lead from Farrell's latest cross. Tempers flared shortly afterwards as Farrell was down after a dangerous challenge from Clark. Five bookings were brandished in the immediate aftermath, though it did not stop the flow as Sheld searched for more goals. Boyd made a quadruple change at halftime, but again it was Shelburne who were on top. Boyd should have scored but was thwarted by an onrushing McCracken once more, then minutes later hesitated when he should have released Smith through on goal. Later he added his third, and it was his tireless running that helped him to do that. He finished a solo run, starting through McCracken's legs to wrap up the cup tie, shortly after substitute Jordan Flores hit the post up the other end for Bohemians. Soon enough, the suffering was over, and now shells can celebrate. 3-0 the final score.